In this segment, we'll show you how to assemble your new AgriFab spike aerator. Begin by identifying the Y side of the tray by locating the off-center bolts as shown. Now align the center brace, part 7, with the tray, ensuring the bend faces the Y side of the tray. Then fully secure it with two 516 by 1 inch hex bolts, part C, and two 516 inch nylock nuts, part I. Now press a flanged bearing, part N, into the flat side of the spike disc, part 2. Then repeat for all the remaining discs. Next identify the Y end plate, part 9. Then press a flanged bearing, part N, into the outside. Now slide the shaft, part 1, through the bearing and end plate. Then slide on a wheel bracket assembly, part 4, and secure it with a quarter inch by one and three quarter inch hex bolt, part D, and a one quarter inch nylock nut, part J. Next, slide on a 1 inch spacer, part E. Now, slide on a spike disc, part 2, as shown. Then, slide on a compression spring, part U. Next, slide on another spike disc. Now, slide on a large spacer, part V. Then, slide on another spike disc. Next, slide on a large spacer. Now, slide on another spike disc. Then, slide on a large spacer. Next, slide on another spike disc. Now, slide on a large spacer. Then, slide on another spike disc facing the opposite direction of the previously installed discs. Then, slide on a large spacer. Now, slide on another spike disc. Then, slide on a large spacer. Next, slide on another spike disc. Now, slide on a large spacer. Then, slide on another spike disc. Next, slide on a compression spring, part U. Now slide on another spike disc. Then slide on a 1 inch spacer, part E. Next, press a flanged bearing, part N, into the outside of the X end plate. Now, to aid in assembly, stand the unit on end to help compress the springs. Then, slide the X end plate assembly onto the axle. Next, slide on a wheel bracket assembly, part 4 and secure it with a quarter inch by one and three quarter inch hex bolt, part D, and a quarter inch nylock nut, part J. Then align the tray with the aerator assembly, ensuring the Y end plate is aligned with the center brace as shown. Next, fully secure each corner with two 516 by one inch hex bolts, part C, and two 516 inch nylock nuts, part I. Now slide on a small spacer, part S, onto the 516 by 1 inch hex bolt, part C. Then, securely fasten it to the Y end plate with a 516 inch nylock nut, part I. Next, align the drawbar, part 3, with the hitch bracket, part R, and fully secure it with 2 3 8 inch by 1 inch hex bolts, part B, and 2 3 8 inch nylock nuts, part H. Now insert the hitch pin, part Q and secure it with a hair cotter pin, part O. Then align the drawbar with the tray. Next, insert a 3 8 inch by one inch hex bolt, part B, with the washer, part L, down through the hole closest to the hitch. Now secure a washer, part L, and a 3 8 inch nylock nut, part H. Now back off half a turn. Next, insert a clevis pin, part K, with a medium spacer, part M. Now secure it below with a hair cotter pin, part O. Then align the wheel lift handle, part 5, and fully secure it with two 5 16 by 1 inch hex bolts, part C, and two 5 16 inch nylock nuts, part I. Next, align the handle bracket, part P, and insert a clevis pin, part K, through the wheel lift bracket and handle bracket. Then secure it with a hair cotter pin, part O. Next, slide on the handle grip. Part T. Now remove the nuts from the front corner near the handle bracket. Then swivel the handle bracket into place and replace the nuts securely. Next, slide a half inch by two and three quarter inch hex bolt part A through a wheel. 
Then thread on a half-inch hex jam nut, part F. Finger tighten only. Now secure the wheel in place with the half-inch nylock jam nut, part G. Then repeat for the other wheel. Your new AgriFab spike aerator is now fully assembled and ready to use. Make sure to read the manual and watch the next segment for other important safety, operation, and maintenance tips.